So in a previous video, I talked about getting a clog in this printer and how you can take it apart and remove the clog. In uh, the past video, I showed how you can add a larger fan to try to cool that heat sink down. And in this video, I wanted to talk about what I think might be the real problem, and that is the hot end not being uh, completely insulated. When I look at it, there's, there's a, a wrap that goes around it, that came, that's how it came. And you can buy a new wrap and you could remove it and put that on. But I've noticed that mine is, there's a little bit of metal exposed and it's kind of shrunk down and it, it doesn't look quite right. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it to try to keep that heat from traveling up the um, heat sink and getting up to where it is melting in that plastic tube. You wanna keep that area cool and that hot end hot and you wanna keep that heat separate. Um, so there's lots of different options you can do. There's some special insulating fabric. Some people use uh, fiberglass insulation. You can wrap it. Um, I have some fiberglass, some woven fiberglass and some random um, different fibers. This is for actually doing fiberglass with resin for making fiberglass parts. And then I remembered I have this carbon fiber, um, I think it's called tow line or something. It's carbon fiber thread. So I think this would be perfect. It'll be hot enough. Um, it won't burn. And then I'm going to probably wrap it with this aluminum tape. This is actual duct tape, not duct tape. This is for wrapping actual ducts. Um, it's, a, it's an aluminum tape. And I checked on fiberglass melts or burns at upwards of a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Same thing with aluminum. I know the carbon will be okay. This will be several thousand. And to, to, ver you know, to know that my hot end is not going to get more than 480 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 250 Celsius. So I think I'm in the clear. If it starts smoking or burning or whatever, I may have to rethink it. But my plan now is to just rewrap that hot end. I'll try to obviously avoid covering up um, the nozzle if I have to remove it and any other bolts and things like that. But the key is I'm going to try to keep it on the top, wrap on the top to prevent that heat from traveling up that tube. So let's see how it goes. Well, here is my uh, carbon fiber and I think it, I got it from Amazon for like 20 bucks. I've had it forever. It's a, I think it's called tow line or something, but it's, it's, it's carbon thread. And here is my hot end and I'm going to somehow try to wrap this around here. I don't really want to take it off because I want to make sure, I think if I take it off it's going to be a pain getting it back on there and getting it to all fit in there because there's not a lot of room. So I'm going to try to wrap it as it is and I'm going to make sure to get areas like this here and here, areas where metal is exposed and I'm going to make sure to get the top. I, I don't think the bottom is a huge issue. But I'm going to make sure to get the top and anywhere where I see metal and maybe around this pipe here too. And then I'll come back and uh, try to lock it all off with this tape. And another reason uh, why I'm pretty sure this carbon fiber stuff's going to work is I was heating it up with a, a match and it's it turns orange. And this is quite a bit of heat, but it doesn't. You can immediately touch it. It's a little hot and... Now it's not hot at all, so it looks like a really good dissipator of heat. So that is the wrap I have right now, and I'm, I've used uh, just some masking tape to hold it on there. It's not pretty, but I feel like I got a lot of coverage up around the top. Uh, so now I'm going to use this aluminum tape and try to make it permanent. Well, that's what I ended up with. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. Um, it's also not going to be real easy if I ever have to make any changes or take that off. I'll have to completely redo it. Um, but hopefully that lasts for quite a while and prevents heat from getting up into that little plastic tube. So that combined with this fan shroud, um, the larger fan, hopefully it does the trick. We'll see. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, 
things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.